Assalamu alaikum dear viewers today we will discuss a modern novel lord of the flies its characterization and summary so let's begin the first character in this novel is the Rolf Rolf is the protagonist of the story Rolf is one of the oldest boys in the Iceland he quickly he quickly become the group's leader Golding described Rolf as tall for his age and handsome and he presides over the other boys with a natural sense of authority. Although he lacks Peggy's word intelligence, Rolf is calm and rational with sound judgment and strong moral sensibility. The second character is Figgy. Figgy although uh, fuzzy, awkward and worse to physical labor because he suffers from asthma. Piggy, who dislikes his neck, nickname, is the intellectual on the Iceland. Though he is an outsider among the other boys, Piggy is eventually accepted by them. Albert uh, grudgingly when they discover that his glasses can be used to ignite fires. Piggy's intellectual talent endures him to Roth in particular who come to admire and represent him for his clear focus and uh, in the Icelands. Uh, the third character is the Jack Meridew. Jack Meridew is the leader of the boys' choir. Jack exemplifies uh, military, uh, uh, militarism as an uh, border on the uh, authoritarian. His cruel and statistics precursed with hunting and killing pigs. His sadism uh, intensifies throughout the novel and he eventually turns cruelly on the other boys. Uh, the next character uh, we have the Simon, the most uh, introspective character in the novel. Simon has a deep affinity with nature and often walks alone with the, um, in the jungle, while Figgy represents the culture and Ralph the political and moral uh, facet of civilization, Simon represent the spiritual side of human nature. Uh, the next character we have is Sam and Eric. Um, Sam and Eric are the two um, friends are in the only boys who remain with Rolf and figure to tend the to the fire and often the other abandoned Rolf for Jack tribes. The other consider the two boys as a single individual. Who consider that Sam and Eric are only one boy, they behave like one world. Whatever comes in the mind of Sam and Eric comes in the mind of Eric as well. So, uh, the next character we have a uh, Roger, one of the hunters and the guard at the coastal wreck first uh, um, fortress. Roger is Jack's equal in cruelty. Uh, it represents the Roger who murders Peggy. Um, it is Roger who murdered Peggy. Uh, the uh, next character we have uh, Morris. Uh, during the hunt, a hunter uh, killed the fake Chant Morris, who is one of the Jack's hunter, pretend to be a pig, while the other pretend to slaughter him. When the hunter kill a pig, Jack smears blood on Morris' face. Morris represents the mindless masses. Uh, the next character we have Farcival. Parcival is one of the smallest boys in the Iceland. Parcival often attempts uh, to comfort himself by repeating his name and address as a memory of home life. Parcival represents the domestic or familial aspect of civilization. Uh, other character we have the beast, a dead pilot whom Simon discovers in the forest. The other boy mistaken them, him as a, a, a nefarious supernatural omen. The beast they attempt to appease his spirit, uh, spirit with the Lord of the Flies. Uh, the most important character we have, the Lord of the Flies, which is the novel, the novel of the name, the name of the novel as well. The pig's head that Jack impels on a stick as an offering to the beast. The boys call the offering um, the Lord of the Flies, which in Judeo-Christian mythology refer to Beelzebub and uh, incarnation of Satan. In the last character we have naval officer the naval officer appeared in the final scene of the novel when rolf encounter him on the beach he tells rolf that his ship decided to inspect his iceland this iceland upon seeing a lot of smoke 
uh, what was the smoke that was a fire uh, created by uh, Raj and his men uh, his boys so uh, let's uh, uh, move forward